In this session, we are going to discuss an example on chaining. In the previous video, we have discussed what is the chaining with this particular example. So please watch the previous video because this video is the continuation of the previous one. Now let us consider this particular example. For this particular set of records and the set of corresponding h of k, we are going to construct chaining here. See, so a is the record and whose h of k is 4. Okay, now see, so I shall come to the fourth location and a is having the number, location number is 1. So I shall go for 1 here. I shall write 1 here. So that actually it is forming a linked list. So that means those nodes which are having h of k is equal to 4. So they are starting from the node number 1. So coming to the node number 1, I am finding this particular info. But if I search for other info where h of k was 4, then I shall go to that link. I am finding it is null. So no other node is there with h of k is equal to 4. So that is the concept. Okay, so we have considered this. Now, H, uh, B8. So at the 8th location, I shall put the address for B. So B is having the address too. Okay, now C2. We are going to C2. So C2. So now at the second location, because that is, this is my H of K actually. This is my H of K. Okay, now. C2. So at the second location, I shall keep the address of C. Okay. Now D11. So at the 11th location, I shall get the address of D. D is 4. Okay. Now at the uh, now E is having the H of K4. So I'm coming to fourth location. It is not null. It is my one. So this E, so that means one linked list is existing. I told you earlier that insertion of a new node into a linked list at the first location will be a constant time algorithm because I need not to traverse the full linked list. I shall have to do some link field updation only. So it is a constant time algorithm. Okay. So obviously I should not go for appending the new node to the pre-existing linked list. I shall go for prepending the new node to the linked list. Okay, now see. So I'm going for E4. So E is having that this 5. So this 1 will be written as the link, link of E. And this particular fourth location, I shall put this 4. So what will happen? If I get a node with the H of K4, then I shall come to this location. And it is pointing to the node number 4. Sorry, E is 5 there. I should five put 5 here. Okay, now see. So I shall go to the node number 5. So 5 is my E. So if I get the E, that is okay. But let us suppose I am searching for other node. So then the next node that is will be 1. So there is 1. So A. And that is no other node with the uh, H of K is equal to 4. So I am traversing those nodes which are having the H of K is equal to 4. Okay, so we have done it. Now going for x11. So at the 11th location, my x means 6. So I cannot put 6. So I should put this 4. At this here, at this location, 6 link. And then 6 will be coming down here. So that means this particular x has got prepended. And the next node is d, which is pointing to null. So now you see x and d, yes. D and X both are having the same H of K that is 11 that is 11 okay now Y5 so I'm going to the fifth location the address of Y is 7 so I'm making this one 7 now I'm going for Z Z is location number 1 Z is having the address 8 so this is the ultimate diagram this is the ultimate diagram so, so initially it was null, now it is 8, initially it was null, now it is 3. There is no record I found with h of k 3. Yes, that's, that's true. So that's why it is pointing to no linked list. So similarly for 4, 5, we found 6, 7, we didn't found any record with h of k is equal to 6 or 7. So null uh, are there and so on. 
and this is my aval it is starting from the location number 9 the next will be the 10 next link address will be 11 12 13 14 and 14 to pointing null so if you have any other new record then you can take one node from this aval i can put that one at the ninth uh, ninth location and then the aval will be starting from the 10 so in this way i am having some scope future scope for insertion of a new insertion of some new records here and this is known as the chaining so here i am done the link field updates but if i draw the respective link lists then it will be coming like this so in this way we have completed chaining the concept of chaining and explanation of the chaining we have given through a proper example so please watch this video and the earlier video under the topic chaining and that will clear up your conception and thanks for watching this video